Yeah, happy ending to that one. Thank you so much, Steve. And we're following some breaking news out of Pittsburgh this morning. Five people are dead, three others injured in an ambush-style shooting. Authorities say four women and one man are dead, the other victims in the hospital in critical condition this morning. All were killed during a backyard party in the suburbs. Police say at least two gunmen barged into the party and started shooting into the group. At this hour, there is no word on the motive. Violence continued last night, one night after Philadelphia saw six murders and a handful of shootings. Philadelphia police now talking about that violence. They say at 40th and Green in Mantua, a 25-year-old was shot in the head. A teenager was shot in the knee and hand. Police believe warm weather contributed to the spike in shootings and murders in recent days. So how are they addressing this? They say generate good intelligence information and put extra police out to protect potential trouble spots. Look at how we can, can deploy um, to prevent any type of retaliatory incidents from taking place. Nobody's life should be taken out unnecessarily, particularly for a bunch of idiotic stuff that could be resolved in, in a different way. Bike officers were out patrolling in Center City after school. People in our city say they're just tired of the violence. They wish people would put down the guns and stop harming others. One of last night's violent attacks in West Oak Lane where a man in a wheelchair was shot in the face. This was the scene along the 7300 block of Lyomkiln Pike just after 8 o'clock. Police tell us the 18-year-old was shot twice by three people. They don't know why that teen is at Einstein Medical Center in critical condition. A private space company says it expects to launch its first human test flights into space next year. Blue Origin has set up a research and development site outside of Seattle. Company founder Jeff Bezos says thousands of people have expressed interest in paying for a trip on a suborbital craft. Blue Origin hasn't taken deposits from interested space travelers just yet, but Bezos says he believes the company will eventually be profitable. Google's computer program AlphaGo defeated South Korean Go champion Lee Sedol in the first game of five between human and computer. Go is a board game for two players originating more than 2,500 years ago. AlphaGo's victory is a breakthrough for artificial intelligence since it has now mastered one of the most complex games ever devised. Lee has an opportunity for redemption as four more matches still remain. Let's go. A Philadelphia police officer hurt in a crash on the way to a shooting is recovering. Police say a narcotics officer saw a man in a car fire a gun near the 1600 block of East Hunting Park Avenue in Juniata Park. Cops say the guy jumped out of that car into an SUV and took off. The 15th district officer crashed while responding. This morning, police in West Oak Lane are looking for the suspects accused of shooting a person confined to a wheelchair. Last night, detectives say the victim was shot in the face. This was the scene along the 7300 block of Lime Kiln Pike, just after 8 o'clock, police tell us the 18-year-old was shot twice by three suspects, but they don't know why the victim is at Einstein Medical Center in critical condition. A Gloucester County College is taking steps to create a more inclusive campus. School officials say new measures will make sure students and faculty are identified exactly how they'd like to be. The university is implementing what it's called a preferred name policy. Officials say they want to enable members of the university community to use and be known by a preferred name that affirms reflects and or expresses their gender culture and other aspects of their social identity. The policy also allows staff to use pronouns like they, them, and theirs when addressing specific individuals. It's been affected now on student IDs, on the Blackboard, which is something that we use for homework, also on the class role system. That gives you an expression of yourself, like you can be yourself, you don't have to hide behind a wall. The university says the policy is a commitment to diversity. It also covers students who wish to change their name officially on campus for cultural or religious reasons. Mike and Alex. About okay, I can't wait to meet her. She lives in our area. She's going to be in our studio. It's a little girl on the right. She's a designer at eight years of age, Look Lawrence. Look at that sash. I know. Oh, she put that arm yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. Hello. We're making crank phone calls today. Oh, oh. hold on. Let me make one. Uh, is this the tobacco store? Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Better let him out. <laughs> <laughs> Send me on Twitter. Uh, a better one? <laughs> yeah. Good crank calls that you've done. Please over the help years. this man out. You know why we're doing that? Why? Tell me. 140 years ago today, the first phone call was made. Really? Alexander Graham Bell called his friend Tommy Watson. But yeah, it wasn't quite like that. And huh? he goes, Hey, Watson, I want to talk to you, or whatever he said. What was the line he said? <laughs> I don't know what the line was. Huh? What? Watson? Uh, he said something Watson. Watson? Can you hear me now? 
Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Mr. Oh. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Oh, okay. And Watson goes, well, what is this? Because he had handed him a, a phone. Okay. We were trying to figure that out earlier. He this was morning. just in the room next door. Uh huh. Seriously. Yeah. <sighs> I bet the kids at home have no clue what this is. This is called you know, a landline. It's right. a phone. They, I hope they know what it no, is. No, no, no. Because you have to think, like, even my nieces who are 11 mm -hmm. have only grown up around iPhones. Wow. So, like, at my mom's house when a cord <laughs> was phone rings. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Now those. That's Mike's direct line. <laughs> and I know it's not plugged in. <laughs> okay. That's important that it's not plugged in. What the heck's the date? Today's the 10th. It's March 10th. Thursday, March 10th. Okay. Uh, Friday Eve. My friend Rini just said my forehead is shiny. I got you. Thank you. Yeah. You're good. Thank Look you. at that. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, can I go back to the uh, the days of MT? This is probably five, six, seven, eight years ago mm -hmm. when they would put on those shows. My sweet sixteen. Oh, sweet sixteen. That's how it go. Lavish. Ever. Sweet sixteen birthday parties. Well, these famous that. people, these really rich people, would put on these lavish birthday parties for their youngsters. Like this spoiled, rotten little thing. I know. I think it's kind of ridiculous, Mike and Alex. So this Texas attorney. Yeah. Well, also, but, but they would spend millions and millions of dollars, and it would always end with the kid getting a car. At the oh, end, or right? two. Or two right? cars. Yeah. Give me an example of some of the people they showcased. It was always famous celebrities, like Lil Wayne's kids. Yeah. What's her name? Regin uh, Regina Carter, Carter, right? Latoya, and yeah. then maybe T.I.'s children. It's always like big name or football players' kids. And they'd have, toward the end, they'd have a celebrity come out and sing to them. Uh huh. You know? And they put the prices, but the big part was the invitations that went out because they would always pick who got to go, who didn't get to go. They were hand delivered, and there'd be like someone pulling up in a limo just to give it. Oh, it was always. A and then at the end, they have right. They'd have two cars. First, you get the Range. Oh no, no, not even that. What would it be a Mercedes or a Lamborghini? Lamborghini. Yeah. Or, people, but the funny oh. part was the kids always act like they didn't know. They they wanted certain <laughs> things, and the parents would be like, "Oh, that's too much. I'm not doing that." So but they always got it in the end. Alex and I were talking about this yesterday. And she goes, "You know, I'm from Texas, and they put on big parties in Texas that match those sweets of things." <laughs> oh yes, they're like little mini weddings. You all right? I'm okay. It's you fine. need some tea? Are you okay? Need water or something? Die. I'll be Could you? <laughs> Oh, you do have water? Uh, <laughs> could you just get out of here and let us talk about this? <laughs> oh. it's, okay. it's just showing off. I'm not understanding Hi, anything you're Hi. saying to me. So one at a time. I'm back. You all right? That's why? I am. Yeah. I do know this about that girl. She wore two dresses at her quinceanera. Okay. Both at the same time? No, different times. Both dresses, $20,000. It's just showing off. But I mean, it, I guess they have the money. So maybe her mom, I name. think, said we wanted to do a party different than any other party she's been to or had before. Too bad Sweet Sixteen is not on anymore. Six million dollars. That's a lot. But if you're a billionaire, that's not that much. Well, how about help? Change, right? How about help out your community? I right? like that idea. You money. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. I know what you mean. Maybe she could have done that like a service project or something. But, yeah. I mean, I guess at fifteen, do you want to? Maybe she's not. Yeah, her that. service project being a brat. Uh, <laughs> now my agent, Larry Kramer. Yes. <clears throat> Has three Those daughters. Great pants. Yeah, he has great pants. Mm -hmm. yeah. And good jokes. Oh, yeah. well, <laughs> just don't, doesn't know how to negotiate a salary, I'll tell you that. <laughs> what a loser. Anyway, he has three daughters, and I've been yes. to all three of their bat mitzvahs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whoa, the money they spent. Yeah. Really? Well, actually, the money you spent, because that's your agent. <laughs> that's what all of his clients were sitting on our table. You that, know, we pay for all that's of this. That's your salary yeah. right there. They had satellite feeds. What? Yes. From where and who are talking? All over the world, people Friends saying that hi, make yeah, it. celebrities and that. Yeah. Must be nice. It had to be over a hundred thousand dollars for each of them. And now he's got to now years later have their weddings. That's true. It's just about mitzvah at thirteen, and now they and then get married. And some people they do cotillions, and oh, that's yeah. a big, very big deal. So, ugh. I'm telling Being, you, having a girl, just, kids are expensive. Don't ever have children. <laughs> What's your cutoff? Let's go on Twitter and Facebook. Well, What's your cutoff? We all know my rule when it comes to uh, four years, like college. The school of Alex. So the school of but Alex. But four years is your minimum. So what if you get to the four years? How much longer after that are you like, okay, time's well, ticking? Again, it's just like school, Lauren. Sometimes some people take a little longer than others. You Can know, you to, and if you didn't go to summer school, you're probably there for five years. Do you have a <laughs> grad school? You could do grad school. Med school? Yeah. That's longer. Med school, there's that too. <laughs> Dental school? Maybe you want to also become a lawyer after you finish med school. But well, then you have your residency though. It can just, it can keep going. What about a uh, community college? Uh, yeah, that works too. Trade schools? Oh, no, but then that's not the full four years. Yeah. yeah. 
So there's no two-year program. You can't just kind of community college and transfer. Yeah, I'm a full four-year four-year institution. I'll How's that going? That. How's tuition? <laughs> uh, enrollment <laughs> is uh, at a, a zero, zero, but it's an all-time low. Yes, yeah, all-time low. But you know, we're working on recruitment right zero. now, and uh, I'm thinking about giving out scholarships. So sure. recruiting, <laughs> heavily recruiting. Uh, Mike is the one recruiting. He's always recruiting. Is he your admissions advisor? <laughs> Unofficially, he okay. wants to be, but I'm not trying to have that happen. But somehow he still shows up to work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> do the Bernie Sanders approach, make it free. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> free for everybody. <laughs> the men being treated for addiction problems. What they'll was the... be they'll be affected by her belly. What? Because really? Protect the men. That's weird. So nobody at the Salvation Army can get pregnant. According to that better not, school of thought, you're out of the army. And how do you not like touch her? It's her own belly. Like I don't understand. What's well, it's called effleurage, isn't it? The stroking oh, when you of do your the belly. Mm -hmm. Effleurage. I do that sometimes after I eat, and there is no baby in here. <laughs> That's a food yeah. baby, it's girl. It's a food. Ba I yeah, do it all I the time, too. and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, that was good. Well, wow. You're allowed to do that here at Fox. Nobody's going to bother you. Oh my okay, gosh. good. Well, yeah. you know, one day, I told you guys the story, the lady who thought I was pregnant, she was a PIO, Public Information Officer, mm -hmm. in Memphis. And I went what? to a press conference, and she said, congratulations. Oh, no. Yeah. That's, why? Yes. That doesn't make any sense what she would think that. <laughs> I don't want to mention his name, but there's a guy in the building here named Tom. A <clears throat> uh, woman that used to work here, sitting in your seat, you know, Chanel. Mm -hmm. We got on the elevator after the show. Tom gets on and goes, what, no, what exactly did he say? This is six months oh. after she delivered. Okay. Goes, now, when are you due again? Oh! No. Oh. That was the longest two-floor ride <laughs> in the elevator. Oh, I just gosh. kept looking ahead. <laughs> Look straight. You, without words? Hear. That's a shocker. Yeah. She goes, well. Well, six <laughs> months the, ago. The twins are six months ago. <laughs> he slinked off the elevator and slid down. I haven't seen him since. I Two or three years Mike, ago. and you said that you never, you always wait till the woman brings it up first. Even if you know for sure, she could be nine months pregnant. Mike oh. is not about to say Oh, there could be a head. About that belly. The head out. could be sticking out. It could be an arm <laughs> hanging out. Don't say a word. You're like, nope. No. You say it first. No. I'm not going no. there. No. You're a smart man. Thank you. I've been burned. <laughs> hey, oh, Lucky Strike uh, Bowling Alley? Yeah. Do you have 16 pound balls? <laughs>